Hi Toy Tractor Times fans, I'm at the 2022 National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm here with Chase and Colby and we're going to take a look at their American Dream 40 foot long display which we've enjoyed seeing for many years but you guys have made several changes this year. Yes sir. Yeah, we decided uh, after we've been shelling corn on it for years we kind of famous for having over a hundred thousand toothpicks we decided just to get rid of all that <laughs> so we started back uh, doing something different doing spring planting now uh, give everybody something different to look at up here we try to change it up every year just a little bit so well, that's what we're doing. Let's take a look at the planning, and you didn't actually get rid of the 100,000 toothpicks. They, no, they could no. come back. Yeah, so. they're in storage. Uh, that's way too much work. Yeah. I know there's a bunch of viewers saying, I'll take them, I'll take yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we've got an 8RT here with a Kinsey 4900 planner. Yeah, we uh, customized the tractor, and we've got a plot scene planting an Adder Gold seed plot. Pretty cool. I see they've got the shop back there cleaning out all the tubes and getting ready for that next pass and you can see the seed corn coming in. And I always like your uh, silage bunker here. It looks like they're getting to the bottom of bunker one. Yep, finishing it off for the year. So that's what the 5830 has been chopping all those years. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So we've got the John Deere 95 rusting away and the uh, C7 States from Rock City. This barn's been here a while and I always feel bad for my favorite track, the 2 plus 2, hanging out here in the weeds. Maybe someday it's going to fire back uh, up. That barn is the oldest piece on the display. That's that's the first, first barn that I ever built and uh, it's been there for, I'd say, close to or I've had it probably close to 20 years now. Tornado has got hooked up a couple of times. It's gotten, it's, been it's, been it's gotten destroyed several times, but it's still. Yeah, got we can see that parts. that tin work there on the disc, and uh, we can see here that they're filling up the John Deere floater and um, getting ready to spread some fertilizer and uh, moving some round bales in here and wrapping them. Now, is this a 4030 here on the? Coon TMR or? It's a 4430. Okay. I really like the, the cattle all lined up and on private drive to feed them all. And then we've got a big shed here full of hay and uh, equipment. So is this all one farm or a couple different farms on this road? Uh, I guess you'd say a couple different farms. The big bin set up is actually a granary. It's okay. not technically a farm. Uh, this is the only one that really represents a complete farm, and then we've got some bigger, bigger equipment doing bigger work down there on the other end. We've got a nice house here on the cattle operation, and I like how the uh, R-Series uh, spreader here is leaving some dust behind. That's a really cool effect. So this is a grain farm here? Yeah, this is the grain and cattle headquarters. Got the John Deere 9030 series with the uh, sunflower soil finisher. And we'll take a look at all that equipment in the back. Uh, we go on the back side, but we can see good uh, Challenger tractor and 6030 it looks like maybe in there. Eighty-six thirty and an offset disc in the back and grain bin set up. So getting the first cutting of hay off here. Yeah, we kind of guess you could have it in mind that we're cutting and wrapping wheat hay. That'd be about the earliest thing and kind of match up with spring planting is just cutting wheat hay and getting it off the ground. And then uh, we've got some uh, corn going out. Loading out corn with them big prices. And here we can see some more of those bales moving out from a lower field along the creek and nice uh, canopy rocks here. And then you've got the uh, John Deere round baler with the uh, accumulator. 
So this is pretty cool. You've got a, actually a stream with water in it with uh, canoers going down there. Looks like somebody's about to capsize. <laughs> yeah. See that water flowing through the different stages of the creek along with the sandbar. So how many bushels has this bin system here? It's, uh, it's right around, of course we got it kind of in imagination going out the back, but it's right at two and a half million bushels, so oh. that's not including the bunker. Sure. It's a lot of concrete, and I like the uh, warning lights on the, on the top there. And then you've got a chain link fence around it, which is pretty cool. Before we get too far, I wanted to take a look. You've got the uh, walkway out there for the uh, pivot. Yeah, we kind of kept ahead in sections and ran out of ground, so we needed to. We've got the Hagee sprayer coming down here, spraying down some herbicide. And this is pretty cool, the pit, and it's got the grain bucket on it to fill up a semi truck pretty fast. We can see the um, augers and everything that runs between the big bins and the catwalks on them. Very nice display and even some ag bags. Nice uh, New Holland CR. Yeah, we kind of got a little equipment out for sale there, just a few items. I'd buy that combine. Yeah. <laughs> so here we've got a, a puck manure application set up, which is pretty cool. We can see the um, all the drag hoses running through the pump and out into the field. Got the what size 9R is that on the applicator? Uh, 9620R. Okay, that'll get it done. See that spring grass growth and the um, lines running through the culvert on the side of the road and across the road and down to the pit. Looks like this Massey Ferguson found a wet spot. Yeah, he was, uh, the other one kind of went around the culvert on the road and he decided to go through the ditch and it didn't work out for him. And the other one's got tracks. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's exactly right. So we got the 8RX here with the Hoon Krause accelerator. And, uh, 8530 going down the road with a bunch of uh, hose. And uh, like your uh, GMC truck here with the tender and then the big DB 120 out in the field and then we've got our manure pit yes sir. yeah we just kind of had to throw it on there somewhere because we ain't really got a no hogs or dairy so yeah the hogs and dairies on this direction sure. you just can't kind of see it. hey we can look down the hall there's there there's go. room yeah, yeah that's right we run a lot of PTO ditches in our area, uh, so we, we decided to put some of that kind of where the land was a little lower. Oh, pretty cool, 4020 on that? Yes, sir. And then uh, 9RX out here on the DB120, 48 rows at a time. We can see the DB120 is flexing. It's nice detail going over the ridge in the field. So we've come all the way down the display, so it's 40 feet long? Uh, well, actually it's 42. 42? Yes, sir. 16 row planter. Yeah, I'd say it, I'd say it. Yep. Here we uh, can again see the puck applicator going through the field. and What did you use to create your bags? Uh, that is, that's a sacred. All right. To, I had to really, really think about that. Well, yeah, we I can't let that out of the bag right now. All we right. used two or three items that didn't did not work out. So. I worked too hard trying to experiment <laughs> to do that. I understand. I'll uh, I'll let anybody else try to have a hard time with it a little yeah. while. Well, it looks looks very realistic, and we've got the big tarp on the remnants of the grain pile, and we've got our drive-through pits back here. We get a look at the excavator dumping the corn in there. 
And I like your cutaways on the on the bins. Gives us a good idea of what the inside looks like. Yeah, we kind of give it to the loaders and kind of like the hose down there that the, the farm keeps going back back through here. You can see those towers up close. Now there's a cougar in here in the creek. I think um, he's right here. It's always great to see the different wildlife. Is this a dog or a deer down here? That's a buck a deer. Buck, okay. There's a couple of does we got hit off in there, kind of give people something to look at. We've got our sound guards out here with the Coon nine foot mowers. And uh, which Blackstripe uh, 66 series is this? Uh, that's 1466. Mm -hmm. We can look back here, another uh, ROP sound guard with tanks on it. Nice Alice with uh, diamond turfs. And then I think there's a D21 hidden in here. Here's the 5830 that filled the uh, silage pile. A D21 and a 5020? 60 Some good tough tractors. And then uh, the house here is surrounded by cattle. Got a nice uh, patio and deck area and the garden and smokehouse. So we've got a good healthy garden here. I'm sure this person brags all over town how quickly they got their crop up in the spring when everyone else is planting. And then uh, we can see here into the cattle barn where there's um, some equipment parked and the bells and I uh, you got your cattle shoot here under a roof which is nice and uh, header wagons and always fun to see what's tucked in on the sides here so with that that uh, takes us all the way around it's a really nice display and I know so many people will compliment you throughout the year hoping to see this here and it's very appreciated that you bring it up I appreciate it. We like doing it. Uh, we like bringing it up here and give somebody ideas, hopefully grow the hobby. So. Yep. Well, thank you for doing it. We can yes, always sir. use support in the hobby. Yes, sir. Yep. Well, thank you, and thank you to everyone for watching Toy Tractor Times YouTube, where there are hundreds of videos on displays and past videos of the American Dream 42-foot-long display here, and we'll close out by looking down the road.